Well, there's a new system for managing waste generated in garages and car dealerships in the province. The new recycling program diverts used oil and antifreeze products from landfills. Here now's Cease Hair reports. The waste from oil changes and other work adds up. There's leftover oil, leftover antifreeze, the containers they come in, oil filters, and aerosol spray cans. Frank Crotty is a manager of Steel Honda in St. John's, the backdrop for today's launch of the program. We do probably 7,500 oil changes a year on average, so that's 7,500 oil filters that would normally go to the landfill. So now that's being recycled. And like you said, that's just one shop. Just one shop. So it's, one it's, dealership. Yeah, it's, this is a fantastic program. I'm, I mean, we're excited about it. We're looking forward to it. Under the province-wide program, the Used Oil Management Association of NL, a nonprofit, oversees the collection, reprocessing, and recycling of the waste. Garages have the option of becoming waste collection centers for the do-it-yourselfer. About 400 garages were visited this summer, and the work isn't done yet. Knowing that there's more over 300 wharfs on the island, uh, we need to service these people too. So we're, we're working closely with small craft harbors and DFO to set up in the uh, arbors uh, the same infrastructure as you see here. The fees for this program have already kicked in. It happened on October 1st, and officials tell us in all likelihood they'll be passed on to consumers. For an oil change for an average size car, the new environmental handling charge will be about $2. Cease Hair, CBC News, St. John's. Thank you.